you know, you usually prepare when you get invited for a meeting with HR, but there isn't a playbook when you get an invite for meeting few thousand HR and people leaders. I did look it up, but there wasn't actually a playbook. So not sure how it's gonna go, uh, but let's give it a go. Uh, jokes aside, I'm really thrilled to be here with all of you to talk about a transformational shift that's going on in technology right now. One that's likely to be even more profound than personal computers, web, and smartphones. And in fact, if you look back, personal computers gave us tools to really automate a lot of our daily chores and automate things. And then the emergence of smartphones really made everything about communications, connecting the whole world around us. But we are about to enter an era of intelligent computing, where machines are actually gonna be able to see, hear, and understand the world around us, and they literally will be able to interact with us with natural language like we interact with each other. This shift from automation to intelligence will have an absolutely profound impact on every aspect of our life, from individual creativity to enterprise work to societies at large. And so as we look to this future, what's gonna happen is computers are gonna evolve from simply being these productivity automation machines to actually being our creative collaborators and partners. And in fact, they're gonna empower us to express our ideas at a faster pace and easier than ever before. And given this is audience focused on all people talent, I would say the notion of human creativity will be the driving force behind the innovation and progress that we see in the next couple of decades. It's actually using intelligence that goes well beyond our screens and in fact using natural language and comprehension to talk in a very different way with these computing infrastructure. And at the center of all of this is this democratization and evolution of new forms of AI. They are literally gonna collect all of humanity's knowledge and empower completely new experiences that we are, can't even imagine right now. Just look at the last few months, and I was listening to the panel before, the rate at which chat GPT has been adopted is faster than any other technology on the planet. It's crossed 100 million users in just eight weeks. Whether it's celebrities lending their voice to new commercials, whether authors writing entire books using AI, or school kids like my son using chat GPT to actually do their school assignments, sometimes in a legit way and sometimes maybe not. Uh, but we are just starting to scratch the surface of what's possible. Musicians are starting to collaborate with AI to create entirely new forms of music. And scientists are actually finally tackling thorny problems like protein folding to come up with breakthrough discoveries and drugs. And if that wasn't enough, chat GPT like generative models have already started showing that they can pass bar exams and medical exams with just eight weeks of being on the market. Just shows you the diversity of the fields that these models will excel in. Now, as much as these are interesting use cases that will affect us as individuals, I think the real power of these generative platforms is in how they're gonna revolutionize the way we work, communicate, and collaborate. So for us this morning, the question is, how is this gonna rewire the entire enterprise? My assertion is, instead of the entire focus being on productivity and automation, that's been the focus in enterprise architectures for the last decades, you're gonna see enterprises having to shift using these new platforms to cultivate and focus on human creativity. In fact, human creativity will become the differentiating element between companies that actually excel in this new AI-powered era and those that don't. Now, as consumers, we have all seen the power of personalization with platforms like Netflix or Spotify, where they build long-lasting connections for us by delivering personalized content. What we are about to witness is that kind of highly personalized storytelling and content come to every enterprise workflow. And it's a, this ability to generate content at a very rapid pace, but uniquely for each of your customers and each of your employees is actually what's gonna distinguish this next era. 
And if you thought this was only going to be limited to marketing and sales, I actually think you'd be wrong. It's going to touch every single function in the enterprise, from product building, to marketing, to sales, to support, to HR, every single function will have brand new AI powered tools that completely change the notion of how you engage with your core constituencies, whether it's your customers or your employees. A new kind of hub is gonna emerge that is gonna completely change every single digital tool and workflow that we know. And its core thesis will be shifting the enterprise from purely being about data and automation to being about content and storytelling. Emotional storytelling is going to be the language of the enterprise as we go forward. In fact, example of this, we are already starting to see this happen in marketing use cases. Imagine a global launch for a new product where you can simply describe your creative vision and AI will instantly generate amazing array of images, text, and more. And with just a prompt, by the way, those images are being created on the fly. They are not images that existed. And so this is where you can, with simple prompt, create entire set of arrays of Instagram posts, TikTok posts, blogs, ads, employee communications, and more. And this is just the beginning. What's gonna happen is as these technologies permeate well beyond the consumer and marketing, they are gonna to come to the very core of our organizations, our people. I'm always mindful to talk to an audience full of HR and people experts uh, about my perspective on how it enters the workspace, but I do think it's worth at least teeing up. I mean, a forum like Transform is fascinating because it is an area where you can spark ima imagination, have some dialogue. And so in that spirit, let me share at least few areas that I think about that this intersection of AI as it enters the workforce and enterprise, what's likely to happen? First, and we're gonna show you a little bit of this in a minute, it's going to supercharge HR workflows by reimagining your day-to-day -to -day tools to be AI first. And what I mean by AI first is the role of HR is gonna change from just automation, driving processes, to really nurturing innovation and creativity in your entire workforce. Second, and probably the most critical one, is to rethink your entire talent strategy and talent agenda. As AI becomes a core currency and core skill set, it will be expected to be touching every single function within your company. You don't have to be a machine learning expert to be expected to know how to use these tools as you go forward. And so having a new view on talent development, reskilling, upskilling, which jobs are going to be replaced, which new jobs are going to be created, is a critical portion of developing an AI-first view of this shift. Third. We all have seen the rapid proliferation of remote workspace and distributed working models. And so employee communication and engagement becomes ever more crucial than ever before. And with the power of these tools to generate amazing content, you will be able to strengthen your brand with extremely meaningful, high touch employee communications. And last but not the least, there are a lot of pitfalls with these AI models. And so HR and people leaders need to step up and actively play a role with business, with legal, with security in your companies to actually develop guidelines and practices to ensure these AI tools are being adopted safely in a compliant fashion. And there's a whole slew of issues around bias and AI ethics that you as leaders are gonna to have to play a way more active role in shaping as these tools come into your enterprise. So to make this a little bit more real, let's look at potential ways in which generative AI can supercharge your HR workflows. So at Typeface, we have been collaborating with Sequoia, a leader deeply focused on HR and employee experience. And we have been really experimenting and brainstorming what are the new ways these workflows will evolve in a world of AI first. And so these are just few ideas. Hopefully they spark many more for you, uh, different ideas and different use cases. But in that spirit, let's look at a couple of illustrative examples. Now, all of you know, writing accurate job descriptions that are on point in your brand's voice are legally compliant is actually a pretty tedious job, but it's crucial to attracting the right talent. And the traditional process can be very slow, not very efficient and timely. 
Now, AI-powered job postings can generate draft posts in seconds simply by inputting your job information like title, departments, level. AI will generate a job description written uniquely in your company's voice while ensuring consistency as well as legal compliance. And it can even personalize further things like images or ability to write the content slightly differently in your own voice. Now, what if we could take that, take that one step further? I mean, generating one job posting is great, but for most of you, the real power comes if it's integrated into all your existing systems and workflows. And so imagine seamlessly integrating these AI-powered job postings now into your comp management systems and the rest of your workflows. With a click of a single button, you can now instantly generate thousands of posts across every department, freeing your teams to actually focus on what matters most. And in fact, by leveraging your insights and data, you can now easily manage, govern, update, and keep all these job postings absolutely up to date every single day. Now, as we transition, I mean, the AI-powered job postings are definitely a use case that will happen very quickly. There are already solutions starting to come out. But what I'm excited about is what's beyond that. There are many, many more use cases that, in fact, each of you should expect and count on where brand personalized AI content across every single employee touch point, from hiring and onboarding, to training, to knowledge management, to employee communications. And as I shared earlier, employee communication is vital for not only retaining and attracting talent, but especially as all of our teams are becoming distributed and remote, a maintaining a pulse through extremely high quality communication becomes very crucial. And most of you know today, that's a very hard job. One, because you don't have the support of all the tools and creative talent and marketing resources to be able to produce high quality content on a day-to-day -day basis. And so with the help of generative AI tools, imagine now a world where, can we get the monitors please? A world where you can essentially generate high quality communications where simply by inputting a topic of choice, you can actually get blog posts, internal employee communication, as well as support forums, all populated in your voice, uniquely without you having to know creative tools or learning Photoshop, learning other tools, you can simply produce content as a HR and people leader. One of the best things about this shift, in my mind, employee experience, is finally gonna be elevated to the same level as customer experiences today without requiring massive amounts of investment using the power of these tools. Now, before I close, I do want to talk about, I would be remiss if I only focused on the positives uh, of this shift, but there are some real challenges and real safety concerns that we all have to watch out as these tools and technologies come into the enterprise. With any technology, there are unintended side effects. And especially with AI, there's a real profound set of challenges. The four I would like to just leave you with quickly. First, from the get-go, as you democratize content workflows like I showed, notion of governance and content safety becomes paramount. And so you need tools that ensure your employees are actually within guardrails of the content you want generated. Second, you have to think about potential for AI bias in all the models and algorithms. If they don't represent your entire employee base and customer base, the bias will permeate through these AI models. So that's pretty crucial. Talent reskilling is gonna become one of the most critical areas for each of us. Upskilling to have AI talent and reimagining what the future talent assessment and rewards model need to look like is gonna be a key area as you look at talent displacement as these new techniques come in. And last but not the least, there's an issue around intellectual property because that itself is going to get completely reimagined. So as I leave you with this, there's a lot going on in this space and the rate of change is unbelievably fast. It can be overwhelming, even for technologists like me who have been in this space, it's just incredible. But I'll leave you with three thoughts. First of all, please do start using these tools because your employees already are. Um, and start getting familiar with these tools 
but develop an enterprise-wide strategy and a platform mindset to put governance guardrails in place. Second, start really thinking about what talent means in an AI-first world. That is without a doubt going to be the single biggest change in the next 10 years if existing roles and talent skills will get shifted and new jobs and new talent and new skills will emerge. And then last but not the least is take a leadership role within your companies and within your industries in shaping the conversation around AI safety. That is extremely crucial for these tools to get adopted correctly. For me, I'm a technologist at heart. And generative AI represents one of the most profound and exciting shifts in technology for the next 10 years. It's going to be an exciting era where everyone will be empowered to create amazing content and tell their stories in their own voice. There's nothing more exciting than that. But let's embrace this new era in a responsible mindset and responsible way, tapping into infinite creative possibilities to imagine anything that is possible. Thank you.